use logarithmic differentiation to get the derivative of f for f of x equal to the cube root of x plus 1 over x squared times the fifth root of x plus 2. So the whole point of logarithmic differentiation is to let us bypass the quotient rule. If I was to take the derivative of this normally, we have an f over a g, and this g has a product rule in it, so you can see the quotient rule is going to turn into a huge mess. Now that's not to say that logarithmic differentiation doesn't create a huge mess, but the arithmetic will be a little bit easier to keep track of. So to start off, we're just going to take the natural log of both sides of the equation here. So natural log of f is equal to the natural log of my x plus 1 to the 1 third, x squared, x plus 2 to the 1 fifth. So the idea is natural log turns multiplication on the inside to addition and subtraction on the outside. So this will turn into, well, first I'll have x plus 1 to the 1 third, and the terms on the bottom are going to pick up minus signs. So this will be minus natural log x squared and minus x plus 2 to the 1 fifth. Next, we could take the exponents on these terms on the inside and bring them out to the front. So that'll turn into 1 third natural log x plus 1 minus 2 natural log of x minus 1 fifth natural log x plus 2. Okay, now you notice this we can differentiate no problem, differentiate no problem, no problem, no problem. So let's see what happens. Okay, on my left hand side, we just stick the inside the natural log term in the bottom, put its derivative on the top. Okay, for natural log of x plus 1, I put x plus 1 in the bottom, its derivative is 1, which goes on top, carry the 1 third around. For the x squared, well, that just turned into 2 natural log of x. That thing's derivative is just 1 over x and we keep the minus 2. And then for x plus 2, we put that in the bottom. Derivative of x plus 2 is just 1, so that goes in the top, so that picks up the minus 1 fifth. And that's f prime over f. If I want to get f prime by itself, we just multiply through by f, and we know what that is by definition. That's just x plus 1 to the 1 third over x squared, x plus 2 to the 1 fifth. So we multiply that through, what happens? We have x plus 1 in the bottom here, so that's going to come up as x plus 1 to the minus 1, which will turn this thing here into x plus 1 to the minus 2 thirds. Okay, the rest stays the same, and we pick up that 3 in the bottom from this term. For my next term, we're just going to multiply by minus 2. The x in the bottom is going to hit the x squared to become x cubed. And then my last term, we have x plus 2, to the first power, it's going to hit the x plus 2 to the 1 fifth. That turns into x plus 2 to the 6 fifths, and then the rest comes in with that minus fifth there. For now, we could just stop here. If we don't have an application in mind, there's no point worrying about where this is going to wind up. If you notice, still sort of a big mess, but certainly this is easier than using the quotient rule when you have a product rule on the bottom.